Hi, welcome to my channel Ruby Net Crochet y Tejido. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to crochet these beautiful short row cardigans to shape the back of the neck. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of material you're going to need to make it. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the little bell. That way you get a notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I make my videos in Spanish and English. If you receive a Spanish video and you want to see in English, Go to the main page of my YouTube channel that you'll find the English version in there. I already made the first part where I teach how to do the short rows. I will leave a link, you will see an eye. You click on the eye and bring you to that video. After you do that part, you will come to this one to finish your cardigan. To do this cardigan, I'm gonna use Barcelona de and Thread, 200 grams. You're gonna need a uh, two and a little bit of the third one to do this cardigan. If you do your cardigan long and then you will need more than two and a bit, you will need those three. Mine is a crop cardigan, so it's uh, the extra that you need is for the uh, sleeves. And because this is a bulky five yarn, you have less meters in each ball. It's not the same 200 grams of a medium 4 than 200 grams of a bulky 5. The medium 4 will have more meters. So this one, the color is uh, quartz. And like I mentioned, it's bulky 5, 200 grams. You will need two and a bit. You're going to need two different size hook. The 7 millimeter for the body. The 6 millimeter for the sleeves. And you're going to need buttons. And the amount of buttons depend on the length of your cardigan. You're going to need tapestry needle and scissors. Last week I did the video where I show you how to do the short rows. So this is the continuation. If you don't see in this video, I'm going to leave the link. You're going to see an eye in the corner. You click in there and it will bring you to this first part and how to start the short rows for your cardigans. Uh, in that video, I mentioned that you're going to work after you do your short rows. You're going to work the stitches as you're supposed to. Double crochet, increase, and double crochet until you have the desired size for the top of your cardigan. For mine, I mentioned in that video that I did 12 row. In the number 12, I separated the front with the back and the sleeve. So that's where I'm um, right now with this one. I frog that row, row 12 to show you how you're going to do the separation. I have 11 here, but remember if you've seen the other video, here in the front, you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 rows. But in the back, you'll have 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Because we did the short rows. And it's longer in the back. So once you have your, your um, this part done, that you have the desired size for yours, for mine, is 11 row. And the number 12, I'm going to separate. That's what I'm doing now. So I did this separate. That way uh, you can do the other part and then come to this video to continue with your cardigan. So you're going to chain three. You're going to turn your work around. And you're going to work a double crochet on top of each double crochet until you get to the last one before the chain one space before the increase and here so you're gonna do a double crochet until this one here and that's the chain space once you get to the last double crochet you're gonna do a double crochet in the chain space And now you're going to chain 
ten. One, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, and ten. Yarn over. You're gonna skip all this double crochet. You go to this chain space, and in that same chain space, you're gonna do one double crochet. And you're going to continue with double crochet on top of each double crochet for the back. And I decided to do this in two videos because with the other yarn it's a lighter color and you can see much better the technique of doing the short rows for the top of the cardigan. But I really wanted to do this cardigan with this color so that's why I did uh, the video in two. Because this part is much easier because it's just double crochet now on top of each double crochet. So I will meet you here at the end of this chain. Now we're space. gonna do a double crochet in the chain space Exactly the same as we did on the other side. You're going to chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yarn over and you're going to skip all this double crochet and go to the chain 1 space. And in that chain 1 space you're going to do a double crochet. And you're going to do a double crochet on top of each double crochet until the last double crochet or chain. And like that you separate on the back from in the front from the sleeve. Once you finish, it will look like this, so you will try it on to see if this is enough space for your arm. In both sides, those 10. If it's too big, you remove a couple of chains. If it's too small, you can increase a couple more chains. Or you can do one row of double crochet and then try it on. After you do that row, it will be much easier for the lower part. But remember, this can be changed to any size as you work the increases. If you do more row of increases, this will get bigger. Okay? This is a basic cardigan. You can change the stitches, you can change the colors, the design, and this this is just a base for those short rows. So you want to continue working. A double crochet on top of each double crochet until you get here. You do a double crochet and then you'll do 10 double crochet and those 10 chain space. You continue with double crochet in the back, 10 double crochet here, and then the rest in the front. So do that and then I will try mine on and then I will see if I have to do any changes for mine.
I did the row and I like the width for this part. So now I'm going to continue working double crochet back and forth until these go into until my waistline and then I will decide there if I wanted a short cardigan or a long cardigan so if I decided to leave it short probably I will give a couple of more row um, than my waistline uh, I will leave it then there but if I decided to do a longer you will have to do a few increases to get the shape of your hip so I will let you know either way if I leave it short or if I do it longer I will let you know how to do those increases just in case you want a long cardigan so now I will work until my waistline and I will meet you here just double crochet back and forth and all the double crochet something that I wanted to mention as well when I get the length to my waistline I will let you know how many row I get this is what I've done so far and I use one ball of yarn I'm gonna chain one and in that space with a new one, I'm gonna do a slip knot. And since so later I'm gonna do a border, you're gonna lose all those tails. I'm gonna come here inside the double crochet, not to that chain that I did. I'm gonna pass that loop. I'm gonna chain three. I'm gonna turn my work around and continue with the length. So far, what I did for the lanes, since I separated the uh, sleeve, I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rows, and I'm working an 11 with a new. What you can do as well of. is lose the tails as you work this row, because remember you did a chain and you pass the yarn through, that's nice and secure, that created a little knot there, and you start with a slip knot, the next ball of yarn is nice and secure, so you can continue and trap those tails in between the double crochet and you can cut them later a little more than the way and they are nice and secure your work don't gonna unravel because it's very um, well secure at the beginning and in the border it will be normal like you continue working with the same ball of yarn this is what I've done so far and I measure 15 inches 38 centimeter and I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 plus the two short row is 24 rows that I'm done so far. Now if you want a short cardigan, you continue just a little bit more until you have the length, you know, like on the top of your jeans or pants, you know, the hip. But if you want it longer, you will do a few increases and then you continue with the length that you like for your cardigan. So that's what I'm going to show you, how to do those few increases. And that way you can continue with a longer piece, that way it's not a straight. Uh, for mine, I'm going to do a short cardigan, not a long one. So I guess I'm uh, going to do the increase. I will remove them and continue for a few more rows for mine. Okay. You can give the lane whatever lanes you like for you. I'm gonna chain three. I'm gonna turn my work around and I'm gonna do 14 double crochet. That chain three counts as the first one. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then number fifteen. I'm gonna do two double crochet in the same space. One and two. And I will continue with that. 14 and then 15. I will do the increase. Uh, 14. And when I get here to my, around the center of the back, I will do 15. And in 16, I will do the increase. Because I have an extra stitch, 
and I want I rather to have that extra in the back and no in the front the way is even the increases uh, because we have more stitches in the back so if you're done the same amount of rows and increases as I have you will have the same amount of increase and then after that you will work the length that you want only that row of increase and then you will uh, double crochet and top of each double crochet until you have the desired length for mine I gonna uh, frog that little piece because I don't want to do any increase because mine will be a short cardigan I will do around four to five around these four to five more uh, rows and that will be the length for mine so I will meet you here when I have the length that I want for mine and we'll continue with our piece this is the length that I want for my crop cardigan in total I did 29 rows you see 27 in the front plus the extra two that you see in the back and I measure from the border of the back until the length and it's 19 and a half inches almost 50 centimeters when I finish the length I kept my yarn here because I'm gonna work in the overlap where the buttons are gonna be sewn in and then after I do that side I will cut the yarn and come to this side to do the overlap for the um, button holes. You work the length that you want for your cardigan and then after that you will do this step. For this border I'm going to chain one and in that double crochet I'm going to do a single crochet and in between that double crochet and that chain space where I did the double crochet I'm going to do my second one only two single crochet because this is a thick hook and a thick yarn if I do three it will be um, increasing the stitches and I will be wavy so by doing just two with this hook you will see that don't give me that wave or extra stitches nice and straight so I do one in the double crochet and one in that chain with a double crochet yes get out you see it's nice and straight so like that you're going to continue working with your single crochet until you get to the beginning of the chain where you have that tail or where the color I wanted to mention if you're working with a thinner yarn or you do uh, your crochet work very tight you can do two mm, single crochet and the double crochet and one in that chain space but for mine two once it's you perfect. finish you're going to chain one turn your work around and you're going to work a single crochet and each single crochet losing that tail at the same time and here until you have the desired width where you're going to sew the buttons so I will work at mine when I get to the end of this row I will chain one and come back again and I'll continue like that when I have the width of mine I will let you know for how the many last rows and single crochet you're going to go to the chain on the side there and do your last single crochet that way it's nice and even in the border you're going to chain one turn your work around and continue with your for this side crochet. I did five rows I'm going to do the same for this side but in the third one I'm going to leave the little open space for the buttonholes now I'm going to do a slip knot and I have my hook inside the third chain and I pass that loop and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do exactly the same as I did on the other side my single crochet and I will be exactly the same amount of single crochet because I'm doing exactly the same at the same time I'm losing that tail so I will do two rows and then the third one I will meet you here to do the buttonholes. Now I have one of the buttons here and I will leave the the first buttonhole around in here that's from the lower part so I will do single crochet until I get to that space around here now I'm gonna chain three one two 
and three. I'm gonna leave three single crochet and the fourth I will do my fourth stitch and then that is the space for the button you see so that's how you're gonna leave the button holes so you'll continue with your single crochet until the next space where you're gonna do the next button hole remember if you have a smaller buttons you have to do a smaller hole probably chain two and leave two single crochet and then the third you do the single crochet so I made the four button holes and what I did to make sure that they're even the ones in here I did 11 single crochet in between the this one and this one in between this one and this one and that one and the last one so in the border here I have only three single crochet uh, for the top and in the bottom here I have six so in between the ones in the center that way it's nice and even 11 single crochet now I'm gonna chain one I'm gonna do a single crochet on each single crochet in the chain space since I skip three single crochet I will do the three single crochet in the chain space and I'll continue that until the end I will chain one do my fifth uh, row and I will have finished this part of the I finished that part pack. at the bottom hole now for all the way around the neck I'm gonna do a row of single crochet so in the same space I'm gonna do another single crochet to turn you know to make it a little more round and then I'm gonna work single crochet all the way around and since I finish on the right side of the piece this row of single crochet is in the right side of the guardian Before I do the sleeve, I'm going to do a little extra here in the front. This is optional. That way you don't can see these holes. You see that they don't look nice that in here. So what I'm going to do is with the same yarn, I'm going to do a slip knot. Create a loop. I'm going to come here at the border. As you see, the same space where the little hole is, but in the border, I'm going to pass the hook. I'm going to pass the loop and I'm going to carry the yarn and I'm going to do like a chain like this and you go to the next one and pass it through and go to the next one and pass it through and don't pull too tight these that way these don't gather in here and you see it's covering those little holes that they don't look that nice and you go to the next space and, and do this and the border and you don't see that you done that in the top because you're working with the same yarn you just see a little line there beside this so I will bring this all the way into the top uh, if you like, you can do the same in the border here. You see? All the way to the top. It will look really nice as well. So let me show you with a different color yarn. You can do this with uh, one, for example, these have uh, different shades of purple. So I can do this with uh, just a purple color for a high contrast. But I'm going to show you with this one. Just a sec. Let me find the end. And I see it here. That way you see what I'm doing with a different color yarn because you hardly can see it with the same color. So this one is the same type, different color. So I do the slip knot, go to the border here. Pass 
the loop and go to the next one and make sure that you don't grab the tail you just want to grab the yarn that is attached you see and you go to the next and go to the next and so on and you're creating this nice border like I said you can do with any color that you like all the way around and it will look really nice let me zoom in that way you can see a little bit better let me show that I'm not you see and that cover those holes that you see all the way in both sides okay so we're gonna work and the last one I'm gonna chain one cut the yarn and then I will lose the tail and look that a small detail and make it big different because look at the difference between these ones that you see the holes and this one that you did that detail it look really nice so I want to do the same in the other side in here So that small detail make a big difference in the end piece. It's a small detail. You personally, and you know, in person, you can see this like as done at the same time that you did the piece. No, and after work, it look really, really nice, and it make a big difference when uh, you see the end result because with those little holes there. I really don't look, I really like it, really nice that. So now I'm going to work in one of the sleeves. That way I can count the, ra the rounds, the stitches, and everything that I'm going to do in one uh, to do the size. And then when I'm working in the other one, I will give you the, all the details. Here I have one of the sleeves done. And that's what we're going to do in the other one. I did a border with single crochet. And we're going to start working now with our 6 millimeter crochet This hook. is the opening for the sleeve. So I try first to do my sleeve doing a double crochet on top of each double crochet in the first row. And the total I have 44 double crochet and I continue with the decrease and everything else but when I tried that sleeve it was too big to start with. So I decided to frog that sleeve and I start all over again and what I did for this one I start doing 4 decrease and under the arm that way I only have 40 stitches and instead of 44 so what I did for the sleeve I chain I went to the center I chained two I did a double crochet I did another double crochet and I did two double crochet together I work all the double crochet at the end I did two together I work one double crochet two together I did a slip stitch and the first double crochet and that was the four decrease that I did and in total I have 40 double crochet and after that what I did uh, I worked those 40 stitches in row 2 and row 3 I did 2 decrease and I end up with 38 and row 4 I did those 38 double crochet and row 5 I did 2 more decrease I have 36 and 6 I crochet those 36 
double crochet and I work those 36 until row 12 and 13 I decrease 2 so I have 34 and 14 I work those 34 and 15 I did 2 more decrease I have 32 and 16 I work those 32 to row around 24 those 32 and then in 25 I start with mm, the single crochet and I did some decrease that way it's more um, small this part of the cuff of the sweater and that's what we're going to do in this sleeve so we're going to start with a slip knot and I'm going to come here to the center and I'm going to pass it right in the same space where the double crochet is leaving two strands to the top I'm going to pass that loop I'm going to chain only two because this chain will be a decrease and I'm going to do a double crochet in the next space that's one and another one that's two now we're going to do two but we're going to do them together so we're going to do one that we don't going to finish and we're going to do the next one and do that double crochet and we're going to do those two together that's a decrease and now I'm going to do a double crochet in here and one you see you had this side, sideways stitch in the center you're going to do one and then you're going to continue working a double crochet on each double crochet until you get to this side that I will do two together I will do a double crochet two together a slip stitch on the first double crochet leaving out those chain two and that will be the other decrease in total of four so do this row and when I, you get into the side of the double crochet I will meet you here that way we can do that decrease here I have um, five left so I'm gonna do two together I'm gonna do that one without finish I go to the next one and those two together I'm gonna do one and the last two together now I'm gonna do the slip stitch on the first double crochet and like that you did that first row with four decrease and you will have 40 once you finish the first row you're going to chain three and that counts as the first double crochet and you're going to do a double crochet on top of each double crochet remember that chain three is on top of this first double crochet so you go to the next one and now in the space if you look at your double crochet you have this space in here in the top that is like a chain uh, in the top I don't work in that space I go right inside the double crochet that way you will have a straight work and these two they are together I pass right in the center of the two and in the next one you see you have this space here in the side and you have the double crochet if you do in that space you are a little off center so if you go through the center at the top of the double crochet you will have a nice and a straight work and that's what I did in the other sleeve like in a straight line so in this one that is already done you'll see what I mean that is right in a straight line because if you do to the side they're a little bit offset and at the end here in the center where you do the decreases they will be sideways and like that it's nice and straight So do this row and this time you're going to finish the slip stitch and the third chain because the chain three comes as the first one and you'll have 40 double crochet. I did my last double crochet. I'm going to do the slip stitch on the third chain and I have my 40 double crochet. Now in round three we're going to do another decrease. So you're going to chain three and you're going to do the next double crochet. 
Now we're going to do the decrease in these two. So you're going to do a double crochet that you don't want to finish it right inside that double crochet from the row before. And you're going to do the next one. You're going to close those two and that's the decrease. The next decrease will be at the end. So now you're going to do a double crochet on top of each double crochet until you have four double crochet left before the end of this row. And then we will work on the decrease. But make sure that you have four, these four Here I have left. four double crochet left, these four. So in the next two, you're going to do them together. You're going to do that one without finish and go to the next one. And then you're going to do them together. And then you're going to finish with two double crochet. Remember, you start with a chain of three. And then you did a double crochet. And then you did two together. So at the end, you finish with two double crochet. The same way that you start because the chain three cuts of the first one. You're going to do a slip stitch on the third chain. And if you look under the arm here, it's nice and even. No extra holes or anything. It's just nice and even. Now you're going to chain three. And you're going to do a double crochet. And top of each double crochet. Remember, I don't make them in the little hole in the top. I go through. If you look at here, the little hole, I don't go through there. I go on top of the double crochet. And you will finish row 4 with 38 double crochet. And in row 5, I'm we'll do it with a slip stitch on the third chain in this fourth round. Now for round 5, again, we're going to do the decrease. And the decrease is exactly the same as in round 3. You're going to chain 3. And that counts as the first double crochet. You're going to do another double crochet. And top of the next double crochet. That's two double crochet. And now the next two, you're going to do them together. I'm going to do a double crochet that you don't want to finish and go to the next one, do the next double crochet. You're going to finish those two together and you'll continue with a double crochet on top of each double crochet until you have four double crochet left. When you have those four, you will do these two together and then you will do two double crochet. That is exactly, you're going to finish how you start with two double crochet. You do a slip stitch on the third chain and then you do that round of double crochet that will be 36 double crochet and from round 6 to 12 you will work those 36 double crochet and row 13 you're going to do the repetition of 3 that's the decrease you will do a chain of 3 a double crochet two together until you have 4 left and then you'll do 2 together and 2 double crochet in 14 you will do a double crochet on top of each double crochet that will be 34 in 15 you will do another decrease and that will leave you with 32 double crochet and from 16 to 24 you will do those 32 double crochet that will be until the last row here before the single crochets so you will continue with those repetition remember the decrease is exactly the same two double crochet to begin with so one of them is a chain three two together until you have four two together two double crochet work one row without decrease one with decrease and the decrease is in round three or one that we start with and then three five thirteen you know I have and four double crochet left to finish round five so you do the two together and then you have two left and those two you will do one double crochet on top of each double crochet you will do the slip stitch and the third chain and then you start round six with a double crochet on top of each double crochet and you'll continue with that repetition from round 6 to 12 you will work those 36 double crochet and then in 13 again you do the decrease you will have 34 and in 14 you will have those 34 and 15 you do the last decrease and you'll have 32 and from 16 to 24 you'll work those 32 double crochet after that I will meet you here to do the and with Here the I have single my crochets. 24 rounds. Now I'm going to start with one round of the crease doing single crochet. That way we get this nice little cuff for our sweater for the end of the sleeve. And I did the crease and I end up with 26 single crochet. And then those 26 I work for a total of 6 rounds. Counting the first one with a decrease as the first round. So I'm going to chain one, I'm going to do a single crochet in the same space, 
I'm gonna do another single crochet and the next single double crochet and then the next two double crochet I'm gonna do them together so you're gonna do a single crochet that you don't wanna finish you have two loops go to the next one you have three you close those three and that's a decrease now you're gonna do four single crochet one two three and four and you're gonna do two together and like that is how you're gonna continue working the decrease in this round so you will work four single crochet two together four single crochet two together four single crochet two together at the end you're gonna end up with two together two single crochet and two together at the end of the cuff so you will do four single crochet and then the next two together or you can you know do your decrease as you please the important thing that you do some decrease that way you end up with a nice hook for the end of the sleeve so what I did for mine is I start with two single crochet and then I did two together four single crochet 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 two together and then I did two single crochet and two together at the end and that's what I did for this one I have to do the same for the other one at the end I end up with 26 single crochet you're gonna work those 26 single crochet for six round counting this round a decrease as the first round two together I'm gonna I have only four left so I'm gonna do two single crochet and the last two I will do together I'm gonna do slip stitch in the first single crochet I'm gonna chain one do a single crochet and I will continue with one single crochet on each single crochet for five round plus the one that I did is six when you finish you will do a chain one cut the yarn lose the tail and you will do the same for the other sleeve you lose all the tails sew your buttons and you will have your cardigan done well this is the end result and I absolutely love this short cardigan or sweater and I hope you guys like it and give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and if you make this beautiful piece and you want to send me some picture, you can do it through my Facebook page, RubyNet Crochet Tejido, or my Instagram, RubyNet Crochet Tejido. Please share my video with friends and family, that way you help me grow here on YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.